Welcome back to Keep Making Art. I'm Mrs. Doles and today we're going to talk about how to make a Bitmoji virtual art gallery slide. This is done in Google Slides. You're going to take your artwork that you made this year and put it into an art gallery that's virtual. Each art piece and other items within your gallery have links to them that will bring me to either your artist statement or museums, galleries, or other information. In the speaker notes, you're going to put a click on guide for each one of your links so I know what to click on and what to expect when I click on those pieces. The first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you have a Bitmoji. You can do this on your phone in the Bitmoji app, which is completely free. Then you want to go into Google Chrome, into the Google Chrome web store, and you want to select Bitmoji. You want to put it into your Chrome extension so that way you can use your Bitmoji on your computer. It'll show up on the extension line there next to all of the other extensions in your Chrome and you can see your Bitmoji and choose which one you'd like. You're choosing a Bitmoji that is head to toe full body. It can be sitting or standing. You also, before we begin, want to take all of the pictures of the artworks that you're going to be using in your gallery and put them in one location so they're easy to get when we're working within our slide. You can put them in a folder on your desktop or just in your drive or in a folder in your drive so you know exactly where to get them. After you have your Bitmoji set up and your pictures ready to go in one location, it's time to open a slide. Go into your Google Drive, find your Google Suite, open up Slides, choose one single blank slide, Once the slide opens up, you can remove the text boxes from the slide by clicking on them and hitting delete. After you have removed the text boxes, it is time now to title your presentation. I want you to put your name and then the art gallery. So for instance, mine says Mrs. Dole's Art Gallery. So type in your name in that section above and then art gallery. Next it's time for us to pick a background for our gallery. Go to insert image, search the web. Then once the window pops up to search the web, type in wall and floor. Several options will show up for you to choose from. Choose one that you like the best. Once you've chosen one, you can either click it, hit insert, or simply drag it over into your slide. Once it's in your slide, resize it and see if that's what you would like to use. If you don't like the one that you've chosen, just delete it and try another one. After you've chosen your background, it's time to put in your decorations. The first thing that you want to do is go back to insert from the web and type the word transparent, then the item that you're looking for. So for instance, transparent frame or transparent pedestal or transparent couch. The word transparent means that it won't have a background when you put it into your background. Once you find the item you're looking for, select it, insert it, and resize it so it fits into your gallery. Continue this process with all of your decorations that you're going to need to complete your gallery. You can also find transparent items by searching on Google. If you find an image that you would like to use that has a background, you need to go to a website called Remove BG. You can take your image, drag it in, and remove the background, save the image by downloading it, and then you can use it into your Google slide without it having a background.
Once you've completed your background with all of the details that you need for your gallery, it's time to insert your artwork. You're going to go to insert and then from the location that you have your artwork, you're going to choose either upload from computer or from your drive. Find the artwork and insert it into your gallery. Make sure that you're sizing it according to the frame or place that you'd like it to sit. Make sure that it looks like it's sitting inside the frame and not on top of the frame. Also, as you can see, mine's covering the lights. If you need to readjust your layering, make sure you do that so things look realistic in the final picture. Continue to insert all of your pictures and details in your gallery. Add extra details that will personalize your art gallery and don't forget your Bitmoji. Once the artwork is placed into your gallery and you're ready to apply links, go to the websites or Google Docs or Slides wherever you're getting the link from, copy the link, go back to your Bitmoji slide, and highlight the item that you would like to add the link to by clicking on it. Once you click on it, a blue box will appear. Then you take your cursor and you go to either the link icon in the toolbar or under insert, go to link and paste the link in. Once you do that, then the item has a link attached to it. You can double check this by going and clicking on the item and making sure your link shows up. Continue to add links to all of the artworks in your gallery and your Bitmoji and anything else that you want to have a link added to. When adding a text box, as a link, make sure you highlight the text when you add the link. Don't forget to type in the speaker notes which items to click on that have links attached to them. I hope you enjoyed making your Bitmoji art gallery as much as I did. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time.